Hello and thanks for joining us on TVC News this hour. We begin with development from Niger Republic, where the military regime late Sunday promised to prosecute ousted President Mohamed Bazoum for high treason and criticized West African leaders for imposing sanctions on the country. This was made known in a statement read by Colonel Major Amadou Abdramani on national television. The military leaders said they would prosecute President Bazoum for high treason and undermining the internal and external security of Niger. Mr. Bazoum, who is 63 years old, and his family have been held at the President official Niamey residence since the coup, with international concern mounting over his conditions in detention. The statement came after the junta made an about face and declared it is ready for dialogue with the economic community of West African state. It comes a few days after the West African bloc activated its standby force to restore democracy in the country. We have more in this report. It appears there may now be a resolution to the coup in Niger Republic as a group of Islamic scholars from Nigeria make their way to Naomi for talks with the coup leaders after President Bola Tinubu approved their mediation moves. In a statement earlier today, leader of the delegation, Bala Lau, said the visit was to engage in constructive dialogue and encourage coup leaders to tow the path of peace instead of war to resolve the crisis. He also noted that the coup leaders were dissatisfied with the ultimatum by ECOWAS without hearing their side of the story. The military leaders say the coup was well intended and meant to starve off an imminent threat that would have affected not only Niger Republic, but also Nigeria. The National Missioner of Ansaruddin Society of Nigeria, Abdurrahman Ahmad, who was also on the delegation, disclosed that contrary to reports making the rounds, they were given a warm reception in Naomi. But war is an ill wind that blows no one no good. It is a matter of the last resort. And from what we have seen, we think the situation is redeemable because the Nigerian government is ready and open to dialogue and the peaceful resolution of this. According to Niger's Prime Minister, talks with ECOWAS is expected to hold in the next few days. The group of Islamic clerics had met with President Bola Tinubu as chairman of ECOWAS on Wednesday, seeking to dialogue with the coup leaders in peace moves to restore democracy in Niger Republic. We are enriched with what we have seen and what we have heard. And we'll go back home to report to His Excellency the President what we saw and what we discussed. With this latest development, the West African bloc, who earlier activated its standby force to restore democracy, may be coasting to victory to resolve the coup, which is the fifth since the landlocked country gained independence from France in 1960.